back YouTubers, Professor Chaffins here and today uh, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to cook moose meat. I've actually been marinating this, this come here, let me show you. I've actually been marinating this moose, this is moose meat given to us by uh, one of our former patients and um, what I've done is I've marinated this moose meat for 72 hours salt water and a little bit of soy sauce so it should be super tender and my daughter gave me the idea to she said well daddy maybe you want to bake it first like and then maybe put it in the pan and sear it and I'm like that sounds pretty good so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's get cooking <laughs> Actually, white wine, white cooking wine, and next a little bit of garlic salt. I like to put a little bit on this side, and then we'll flip them over. And put a little bit on this side, and then last but not least, oregano. So good, whole oregano. This side, flip it over. Yeah, I did. Not yet. Alright guys, uh, basically what I did was take a loaf of uh, the Italian bread, put it uh, sliced into slices, added butter, garlic, salt, uh, oregano, and then I put a few drops of the Mediterranean dipping oil on top to let it soak in as the, as the bread's baking. So it should be really good. And then over here, of course, we've got our broccoli steaming. Should be pretty good. My sister actually brought a, the, um, a bread loaf from Malone's Steakhouse, so I figured I would just throw it in there with the other bread. Of course, we got the moose meat, and potatoes are cooking nicely in the microwave. Alright guys, so I fixed the moose meat and baked it, but unfortunately it was just a little bit chewy. So last time we fixed it, it was very tender. We put it in a crock pot for about three hours on medium. So my sister was researching online. Moose meat's actually the, some of the most healthiest meat you can eat in the world. But the problem is, it's so muscular that you got to really, the, the theory behind it is, is to cook it low and slow. So next time, um, hopefully here in, in uh, the near future, during Vermont's bow season for moose, I'll, I'll get a chance to go up there and get a moose, harvest a moose, and we're going to fix this, this meat a uh, different way. We're going to, the front shoulder and hind legs of the moose will be put in, we'll fix it in a crock pot. Now the tenderloin will be a little bit different. I'm going to cut those thick, and those can actually be grilled like a steak, and it'll be a lot more tender. But the front shoulder and the, and the back legs have to be put, in my opinion, uh, in a crock pot for about four or five hours, maybe even six on low to make, make it real tender. And then you can put a can of cream of onion and a can of cream of celery. 
and uh, chop up some potatoes, and it would be really good that way. So uh, anyway, if any of you guys watching have a, have a better idea of how to fix moose meat, this is only my second time fixing it. Please leave your comments in the, in the comment section, and we appreciate all the love. And please like and subscribe, guys. Have a blessed day.